Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, your man's ER. You already know me. And this is Father Slow Stroke on the Podcast, son. Episode 64. Dang, son, we really came a long way. And I'm super excited to have everybody here tuned in. And this episode is titled A Ballot Week Ahead, son, because we have a lot of great things going on. And I want to talk to you about it, right? So I want to get you all caught up. But first, I got to say this I am not a financial advisor, but as you know, I do have gems for you, right, son? In addition, if you enjoy the content or I've been helpful to some extent, please click that like button, follow by the subscribe button, son. I really appreciate that joint, son. I really do. <laughs> and also, you could definitely help me out by helping yourself, right? Download these apps, right? Or sign up to these brokerages, right? Robinhood, you get free shares. Weeble, you get free shares. Voyager, you get $25 in Bitcoin. As well as crypto.com, you get $25 all by utilizing the links in my description below. So go check those joints out. It's valid, son. And like I said, I really do appreciate that joint. So enough of that, son. We got we got taken care of the preliminaries or whatever you call it. Let's go ahead and get into what we got to talk about, right? So a ballot week ahead, son. Last week, we had some great turnouts, you know what I'm saying, on the plays that were called in episode 63, right? Episode 63, I believe that I spoke on, uh, what is it called? I spoke on GM as well as Lucid Motors, right? Those were like my main focus points for last week. And son, it really took off. I'm talking, we had a lot of amazing price action from companies such as GM. What else we had? Lucid Motors, Snap. Costco joint was crazy, stupid, dumb, crazy, retarded, as I like to call it. You know me, son. So that really happened, right? So GM hit over fifty two dollars, crazy. Um, I still got a fifty five dollar price target for that joint. Lucid Motors over twenty eight dollars. The price target last week was twenty seven dollars by the twenty seventh, which is Monday. So that worked out. Snap over eighty two dollars. I wasn't even watching Snap. Didn't even have a price target for Snap, but that's tough. Um, and Costco, over $467. Very valid, son. And we're going to get into all these things, right? But now, like I said, that's lovely and all. But I really want to get into what's happening this week, right? Because this is where the money is. This is how you can really uh, make some nice little moves in your account. You feel me, son? So um, this week, Lucid Motors. Um, let me actually get my handy-dandy iPad. Um <laughs> Lucid Motors, they're having this event, right? And it's a week-long event starting on the 27th. And I think it's going to be tough. Oh, I can pull it up on my computer. I think the event is going to be pretty tough, right? Um, so first thing is, you got to know this. Um, they're going to have, you know, this, you know, production review in their, on their site. And where is this at? Casa Grande. Casa Grande or however you pronounce it. Um, that's where they're going to be taking people. And it's a manufacturing plant, right? So this is where they actually make the vehicles. This is where, um, you know, a lot of the action is taking place. So they're going to take people there. And it's like, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Who will be there, <laughs> right? And members of the media, you have, it says members of the media and financial um, communities, policymakers, and a select group of customers, these are the invited guests, right? And they will observe the production process. Tough. They will observe the production process for the Lucid Air. And also they will, you know, get to experience some of Lucid Motors' um, advanced EV technology. And this is what really sets Lucid apart from a lot of the other EVs, including Tesla, because of their technology. Last week, they, well, or two weeks ago, they just announced that they have um, range, you know, of, you know, 520 miles per charge. And that's better than any, that's over a hundred miles for any other EV that that's available. So Lucid Motors is really, you know what I'm saying? Really bringing sauce to the game. And, and it's definitely tough. It's definitely valid, right? Um, So I'm looking forward to that, right? So this is like the opportunity to showcase what they've been doing. And um, I think that, you know, test drives and those firsthand experiences that they're offering will really help people say, hey, this is everything that they said it is and more. So that's what I'm looking forward to, right? In addition, um, the main reason, I need to say this, the main reason why I'm going to go ahead over to Lucid Stock, the main reason why Lucid Stock hasn't really taken off as, it, as everybody's waiting for it to is because people are waiting for the drop. They're waiting for the deliveries, right? 
Now, there was an article that came out, and I'm not going to pull it up for everybody, but there was an article that came out that said um, Lucid Motors should um, begin deliveries at the end of Q3, right? Quarter three. The end of quarter three is, you know, this coming week, right? <laughs> so that's the end of the third quarter. So I don't know. This week might be crazy. This week might be very special, very valid, and I'm anticipating it for it to be amazing, right, son? Um now, we may be one step closer because deliveries, like I said, were supposed to be in the end of Q3. So, hey, maybe this week they will, you know, saying, throw a curveball and surprise everybody and be like, hey, you know, the first customer gets their EV. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that'd be crazy. But also, I want to say this. Um, my, <laughs> my dad mentioned to me, uh, I think this was last week or the week before last, that Lucid Motors EVs, that no, not their EVs, their VIN numbers, have been released, but I didn't, you know, make it my business to go ahead and validate the information. I was just like, okay, cool, that's that's interesting. But he did mention to me that, hey, you know, they said that they have uh, VIN numbers out for the Lucid Motor vehicles. I said, oh, that's crazy. I said, I said that just adds on to my research, but I, did, I didn't really go ahead and look it up, but I just took heed and was like, cool. So, yeah, that's tough. I do anticipate this event taking Lucid um, Motor stock um to the thirty dollar range right last week price target was twenty seven um as I mentioned you know for the last two weeks the price target was twenty seven and we overachieved and hit twenty eight so I do anticipate another two dollar move that's that's the least we can do for such a great event right son um but you know looking at lucid motors chart the thing that really has my attention I and I also you know put on my social media as we were trading Lucid Motors um, over the week, I was telling people, hey, Lucid Motors broke my trend line. So, no, we're done trading for the week. We're going to wait and see what happens, you know, come next week. But this W pattern I'm seeing on a weekly really has my attention. And it is stupid, I'm crazy, retarded, looking perfect and valid as as ever. And I'm intrigued by it, right? But I, like I said, $30 price target on Lucid, right? So, let's go ahead and... Um, you know, move on to the next thing. Of course, I'm going to give you my uh, my progress for the week. So let's go ahead and see what we got there um, and see what I did, right? Oh, but please don't leave this episode yet because I still want to go for Snap and Costco. So, um, yeah, we're we going we gonna to get into this, right? Um, so for the week, uh, what is this, September 24th, 2021, 33% profit on Lucid, 19% loss on Lucid, 3% profit from Lucid, 1% profit from Lucid, 10% profit from Lucid, 31% profit from Lucid, 15% profit from Lucid, 10% loss from Microvision, 20% profit from GM, and 5% profit from GM. Whew! <laughs> you know me. All right, son. So, um, also, Jermaine's Hustle Class. That man just dropped an episode yesterday. Go check that joint out. He drops once a month, so it's exciting to see him drop an episode. So, Jermaine's podcast is called Hustle Class. Go check that joint out um, right now, please, and thank you. Um, now, for the Hidden Gem, uh, I didn't really do a Hidden Gem because I wanted to give you this analysis, right? I felt like this was more beneficial. So, Snap. Looking at Snap um, on the chart, as you see here. And please, if you're listening to this audio via um, a podcast streaming service such as Apple or Spotify, I would recommend that you tune into YouTube just frequently or, or however often as possible because I do post visuals for you so that you can see these charts, right? But I also let you know what time frame the charts are so that you could, you know, go figure it out for yourself. But on the snap, on the snap chart for the daily, we see that snap broke its, um, you know, range on Friday. So, and, and Thursday. So snap broke its range. So it had every right to go stupid, dumb, crazy, retarded. Me personally, I am looking to get in a position on the pullback. So pullback back to like $80 would be decent. That'd be tough. Not saying it's going to happen, but eh, that's what I'm waiting for. In addition, go ahead. Let's move over to Costco. Costco just hit its resistance on its range, right? It's almost like a double top as we can see it. Um, and this is on the daily as well. Costco just get hit a double top on the daily. So I'm like, oh man, dang, son, like, if we get a pullback, I know exactly where it's going to. It's going about to about 445, 446. And then that's where I look to buy. But if we break this in a strong manner, then I'm like, dang, son, I'm in there like swimwear. New shoes. I'm talking about a fresh pair. You feel me, son? And, but also the thing that drove Costco stock like this is because Costco posted some positive earnings um, numbers on, what was that, Thursday or Friday. So 
that's another thing you gotta pay attention to. Look, son, thank you all for tuning in. This is for Ever Slow Struggling the Podcast. Like I said, episode 64. If you have anything for me and you wanna talk about this stuff, please feel free to contact me. But for now, that's all I got for y'all. I gotta go to. Ooh.